Hello everyone and welcome to our D65 Finance and Operation Module Wise Training Series. So in this new episode we discuss about the under delivery and over delivery in D65 Finance and Operation. In this video I'll explain you the under delivery and over delivery importance with an example. I'll also show you the setup of under delivery over delivery in D65 system. We'll explain this setup and demonstrate with some example of under delivery and over delivery in D65 Finance and Operations. And at the end of the video will get a bonus tip that I will show you how you can restrict the partial receiver for any purchase order. So make sure you watch the complete episode. So let's get started. So what is under delivery and over delivery? To understand what is under delivery and over delivery, first we understand the use of the under delivery. So the use of under delivery that in certain business, there could be a scenario that you don't want to use to your vendor to under deliver your order. Sometimes company have some vendors which is frequently delivering incomplete items. So it could be really affect your economical order quantity. Then in that case, you need to track that under perform orders and you want to stop them from occurring. So by using this under delivery and over delivery, you can stop vendor by delivering under delivered item or over delivered item. Let's take one scenario. We request for 10 quantity to the vendor and company this time set under delivery percentage to the 20% and over delivery percentage to the 10% for this particular purchase order. In the next step, vendor sending 50% of items of the actual order quantity. But as we discuss our under delivery percentage is set to the 20%. So system will stop this purchase order from receiving because that order is exceeding that 20% of under delivery percentage of this purchase order. And in the same case, over delivery is totally opposite of the under delivery. If you are requested for the 10 item and vendor sent you the 15 items, then it's a over delivery case. You also set the tolerance for the over delivery and under delivery in D65 system. So let's take the configuration of under delivery and over delivery in D65 FNO system. So to configure the under delivery and over delivery in the system, first we navigate to the procurement and sourcing module. Under procurement and sourcing, let's collapse all. Inside setup, we have procurement and sourcing parameter. We first navigate to the delivery. Inside delivery, uh, we have accept under delivery and accept over delivery toggle. So make sure you need to enable this toggle to accept the under delivery and over delivery percentage. So this is the first setup we need to enable for this under delivery and over delivery acceptance. If this toggle is disabled, which means that your system will not allow to under deliver and over deliver. And if you try to receive the purchase order with under delivery, then system will give an error that under delivery percentage is not set. So let's create now purchase order to understand how it's work in the system. So again, we go to the procurement sourcing module inside purchase order or purchase order. So in order to create a purchase order, we click on the new, just quickly create one purchase order. If you want to know how to create a purchase order, you can check out our episode, which is I mentioned in the I button. So let's add the item number. So here I add the HDMI cable. Let's change the quantity to 10 to create a case of under delivery. Now we save this purchase order. Here we create a purchase order of 10 quantity for SM office supplier vendors. So here we create a purchase order for the vendor SMA office supplier with the 10 quantity of HDML cable. So now in the delivery section of the lines, we have under delivery and over delivery percentage. So here we set the under delivery percentage as a 20%. So which means that vendor need to be sent at least eight items of this 10% of quantity. If we send less than 8 quantity, system will give an error that under delivery percentage is only 20% for this purchase order. So let's check this scenario, confirm this purchase order. So now try to receive this order for under delivery. We do the product receipt. Inside product receipt, let's first add the product receipt number. The next is, as we discussed, we request for 10 items, but a vendor sent only 5 items this, in this shipment. So we change the quantity. Here we change the quantity to 10 to 5. Okay. And short closing this PO. If you want to know more about this close for the receipt, you can check out our previous episode. We have discussed about this close for receipt button. So we have closing this purchase order for now. 
and click on OK. So here you can see that system thrown an error for message data under delivery of this line is 15%. So our vendor sent a 50% item in the first shipment, but we have set the under delivery percentage as a 20% for this purchase order. So now just close this and try to receive with the 90% shipment. So we click on the product receive again add the purchase order so this time vendor sent a nine item so this shipment delivery reminder or under delivery tolerance is only 10 percent so close this receipt and click on ok so here you can see that our product receipt is posted now with the nine items so now our under delivery case is done let's check the over delivery quickly we have performing the same create a same purchase order for same vendor and this time instead of under delivery we are doing a over delivery so we requested for the 10 items but we received the shipment for 15 items so let's check this scenario we had the same item again HDML cable and change the quantity to 10 and here in the delivery tab we change this time over delivery set it as a 10 percent so if vendor send more than 11 items system will throw an error that for over delivery percentage is set to the 10 percent so let's save this go to purchase purchase confirm confirmation is done now try to receive for over delivery Add the GR. so let's receive this item inside quantity 10 vendor send 15 item in the first shipment on ok now here system again throw the error for the over delivery see over deliveries for the line is 50 percent but we have set the over delivery percentage is a 10 in this purchase order so system is properly validating the over delivery and under delivery so we have validated over delivery and under delivery both the scenario in the purchase order so this is the importance and use of the under delivery and over delivery in the 65 system and the other thing is it's not like it's manually key in this under delivery and over delivery percentage in the delivery tab of all purchase order level if you have standard under delivery and over delivery for some specific item so you can define the under delivery and over delivery within the item master so that's the way system will automatically inherited in the purchase order from the item master level so let's go to the item master level for the same item side item number inside the purchase tab of item master we have under delivery and over delivery percentage over here so let's edit this so let's set the over delivery percentage as a 30 percent for now and under delivery percentage also we set to the 20 percent let's save this item master again let's create a purchase order to demonstrate this uh, under delivery over delivery inherited from item master or not so let's quickly create again new purchase order Let's add the item for which we have set the over delivery and under delivery in the item master. Let's save this button. Again, we go to the, our delivery tab. So here you can see that our over delivery and under delivery is now inherited from the item master. We have not entered anything in a manually. So whenever this try to receive uh, the order below the uh, over delivery and under delivery system automatically validate from this percentage and restrict from receiving this purchase order. So we have seen the, about the under delivery and over delivery now. So let as we discussed in the initial level of this video, we are now showing how you can restrict the vendor from delivering any quantity in the partially for any purchase order. So let's create a purchase order to validate this partial receive and purchase order. How you can restrict that partially receiving purchase order. So let's again click on the ship, but add the warehouse. click on ok let's add any random item so this time I have a 0 to 2 12 cable inside delivery you can see that we had we don't have any over delivery and under delivery now so let's uh, change this quantity to 10 inside general tab for now we have prevent partial delivery option so you need to enable this option to restrict the user to receive the any partial quantity so we just save this button inside purchase we need to confirm this purchase order again we click on the receive try to do the product receive here we change the quantity to 8 because we are demonstrating the restriction of partial receiving options so we just save this even we don't do the close for receipt now we click on ok 
so see uh, in the message detail system thrown an error then light must be delivered in the total because we have enabled this prevent partial button so by using this button you can restrict any purchase order from receiving any partial quantity so that's it for this video make sure you stay tuned with us and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching